since I've uh, come here for the last six years, seven years, I put a bill in every year to ask to raise the rates for all nursing homes throughout the state of Minnesota. Well, you know, we talk about this phenomena that we face that we call the age wave. People over the age of 85 are going to increase by 104 percent uh, by the year 2030, and that's the year that the first of the baby boomers began to turn 85 in Minnesota. Well, and here's the thing, we're all aging, and actually the tsunami is coming. The baby boomers are coming. We can't care for the people we have now. So what are we going to do when they come? So here's where I, I was at a meeting this morning with some representatives, both sides of the aisle, and said if we don't fix it now, or attempt to fix it, some sort of a fix this year, uh, in a couple of years, you, we won't be able to fix it. Healthcare reform has really focused on the hospital and the primary care physician, but increasingly we're seeing that long-term care has to be part of that picture so that we're not just looking at the senior in the clinic setting or the hospital setting, but looking at what happens when they leave the hospital and go to that care center or go back to their, uh, back to their home setting. And our message to legislators, even with this deficit ahead of them, is don't step back from the progress that we have made. We're going to have to make the investments today in order to be ready for the future.